So there are a lot of really great questions that came from my prior video on how to minimize the effects of fallout. In terms of the half-lives and isotopes, you wanna stay indoors for at least 24 hours and then leave after that only if it's really, really important, like you need to save your animals or something like that. You probably wanna stay indoors if you're in the plume footprint for at least a week, if not two, before you go out in the midst of the contamination. And when the plume is going overhead, you wanna stay indoors in the center of your facility, preferably in the basement if you have it. You don't want outside air coming in. Uh, so if you're bringing outside air in for heating or ventilate or air conditioning, then you wanna turn that off. And that's only if you're really in the plume or somewhere downstream of it or in a place where resuspension could make it to where you're at. You will want to take potassium iodide pills if recommended by the authorities and only one. It's a medical dose. So that means that if, uh, you know, 40 PSI is good for your tire, 80 PSI is not twice as good. It's actually really bad. A medical dose is already optimized for the greatest health effect. In terms of any kind of evacuation, the EPA will typically issue recommendations for evacuation if you can get between one rem and five rem over a whole year. So if you stay there for a whole year and you could get a dose between that, then they will issue a recommendation to evacuate. Usually it's around two rem. And that's not a huge dose. It's, it's ultra conservative. In radiation protection, we are generally are ultra conservative. One rem was about the dose I got when I did a nuclear medicine stress test. Five rem is a legal work, uh, radiation dose to a radiation worker in the United States. And so that's about the range where they would recommend evacuation. It's hyper conservative. Same thing with Fukushima, just to make sure that we are well below any measurable medical effects. And so you do want to follow the guidance from the officials. Uh, and EMP will take out some things, but as a general rule, a lot of things are already sufficiently radiation hard. If your car's uh, uh, metal exterior is positioned right, then there's probably not gonna be much that happens there. Electrical power might go out, uh, depending on if it was effective enough in the right direction. So you still will have batteries and there still will be communication. It just will be limited in undetermined ways at this point. So I hope that helps, uh, helps to put you at ease. Um, keep the questions coming. I hope you enjoy the video and have a good day.